Hello. Hey, good evening, sir. Good evening. To you. Good evening. I love when we just, you know, we don't talk to each other all week for the most part, and then we have such pleasantries when we arrive. Good evening. Doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing great. Fantastic. Well, you know, you set the bar pretty high last week by setting us up with this wonderful, what I am now going to call the Gazebo Wars. <laughs> Oh, such disputes that have come over civil permitting. We're going to continue right on the heels of that. You you did the power lifting last week with our Battle of Thanaris, so if you've not watched that, go back and check it out. That will lead directly into this. We are staying in 528 AD, and tonight we've got the Battle of Melabasa. So, after the Battle of Thanaris, Belisarius brought his defeated forces back to Dara. I think you had touched on that. Awaiting him were orders from Justinian to, you guessed it, immediately set right back out on a mission to construct a fort at Melabasa. Now, Kavad, who is the king of the Sassanid Persians, he'd already learned of this plan, and he decided that that's not going to happen. So he ordered Gadar, who we see up here in the upper left on the Sassanid right, he ordered Gadar the Kadashite to Melabasa with a strong force to prevent Belisarius and the Byzantines from completing this task. And here's what we know. Are you ready for this? And, and this is exactly like what you faced last week. A battle took place on the hills of Melabasa. There you go. That's what we know. Uh, that's what we know. <laughs> that's what we know. The particulars are very scant, but we do know that Belisarius, for a second time, he was defeated. So he took his weakened and fatigued force back, and despite losing twice, any other general, this would have been career suicide, but Justinian's confidence in Belisarius remained unshaken. In 529, so uh, next year, Belisarius will then be made the Magister Militum per Orientum, so I guess commander of all the eastern forces, and he will be given instructions to make preparations to take the invasion to Persia. So we'll see how that's going to play out here in future scenarios, but we've got pretty much the same thing as last time. We got horses, but this time we got a big hill right in the middle. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the War Council tonight? So in tonight's War Council, we are playing to six victory banners. Patrick will be the Sassanids first. His leader is Gadar. He'll have five command cards and three inspired action tokens, and he'll get to move first. I'll be playing the Byzantines first. I'll have five command cards and three inspired action tokens as well. For our special rules... Those mounted units are armed with bows or already indicated on their blocks. And one special rule for the Byzantine player tonight, after playing a scout command card, instead of drawing two command cards at the end of their turn, the Byzantine player may draw one command card and take a victory banner and an inspired action token. However, you cannot take a victory banner if that would give the player the final victory banner to win the battle. I found this one very intriguing, of course, because it's luck of the draw. I mean, the Byzantine player could get three scout cards, and that's three victory banners should they choose to take them. Um, so I, I'm curious how that will be in the long run for this scenario, if that's going to skew any kind of balance thing, because you know it's, it's one more luck-dependent thing that the Byzantines have in their favor. The only cards I know will show up is that you will have an ambush card. <laughs> without fail well that is true uh i do want to touch on a couple things because we we're gonna, it seems like we're going to do this each and every week and i want to thank everybody who is very good about pointing this stuff out and the phrase for tonight is parthian shots yeah i missed a few oh huh? boy how do you, well, apparently you and i both did and and i ca sometimes i catch it in editing and i'll note it but uh, i realized oh my gosh yeah how many times did my own light bow cavalry say hi and away and i just neglected to take those free two dice so uh we are going to try to be much more rigorous on that tonight and we're going to check each other and since you have well well you 
we, we do have super heavy cataphract. That was also pointed out uh, since we both have a super heavy cataphract. Even when they go up against a heavy bow cavalry, they will get to ignore, because they are the, the most superior, they will always get to ignore one sword from essentially everything, and, and potentially more if they're being attacked from foot. So uh, we, we will keep an eye on that. Those were the two things that were the most pervasive last time. And and once again, thank you everybody who is, is very good about giving us a nudge in the right direction because we really want to make sure that we get all these little incidental details correct. You ready to get started? I am. Fantastic. Well, then uh, I, will, I will draw my cards here. Let me open up a card window. I got five cards already. Two, three, four, and five. Would you like me to tell you I don't have an ambush card right now? You can tell me, but I won't believe you. That's fine. That's fair. That's fair. All right. So let me wish you the best of luck. As always, we are starting in pretty close quarters, I see. Indeed. Good luck to you as well. Thanks, man. Oh, and the other one that we were we were gently prodded with the fact that uh, since you and I both love to use the mounted charge that those those heavies get to move three and i think sometimes situationally it was just a matter of i didn't want to move three so but i appreciate the reminder nonetheless i think what i will do is i'm gonna play a line command oh dear yes that's that's everything for everybody so let's uh let's take the opportunity to do a free Big activation. Uh, I'm going to have all the foot units move here. Uh, light bow cavalry will go there. Heavy bow there. This guy will move there. These guys will go there. Okay, so I've got range on some things, because the medium cavalry here have three, and then my bowmen have four, and the down here. So we got some range shots. Let's take advantage of the possibility here. So we'll go for the wing, but your wings are anchored, so I'm not going to get too much, I don't think. So here's one die. Nothing. Down the line, go after your light bow. One die, nothing. And then he's down here. Let's see if we can concentrate fire on that super star destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's one against the heavies. No. Here's another one against the heavy. No. And then light bow. One more shot. Nothing. Okay. Well, at least I'm consistent. There you go. Where are my light troops? It's five of them. Six. I have six. Yeah. Let's see what we can do here. I can totally see in my brain what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do right now. You're doing a Patrick move. What is the range of auxiliary? Two. 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 They'll move up so they're in range. I'm stunned. Okay. So we'll start here with these light bow. Target the wing and let loose a volley. Go on. Ow. Score hit. Mm. This light bow can't draw a line of sight through these auxilia, so they'll have to fire at those cavalry. Two dice. Oh, come on. Better than the other one. There we go. And back to the wing. Mm. One spear. And one more spear. Nothing. Well, nope. can't complain there. Nope. Make something out of nothing here. You do have the high ground. I do have the high ground. All right. So we'll go with a volley here. 
With three on the left, continue our concentration fire. So two dice. It's a retreat if you wish. Nope. Okay. Two more. Nope. And final two. Nope. Where are my heavy troops now? Leadership any section. We'll activate this leader and those two. And I will spend a inspired action token. Um, I will spend it on let's see, what what options do I have? I have a mounted charge. So I will spend one on the mounted charge and go. So they can go three hexes. All right. Let's start here, and we're going to get five dice in the initial combat, plus leader bonus. That's three. Oof. All right. Two dice back at you. Nothing. This one will take advantage of that. Go after that now with four dice plus leader bonus. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Right. You're gonna press your luck? I do. We'll go there. And we'll go on to that. Now back down to three dice plus leader bonus. There we go. And then this one will go against your light bow there. What would they like to do? I will evade. So we're going to have four dice, but green circles only. Get two. Oof. No advancement possible, so that is all. Leadership on the left. Those units there. What inspired Byzantine actions can I take? For one token, you can split away from the Western Roman Empire. Let's see. I will foot on slot. So this auxiliary will there. Go after that medium bow cavalry with three dice. I've got an option on that one. Um, I think I will first strike that. So I'm going to get three dice plus leader first. Send him away. All right. Medium bow cavalry will attack now with four dice. Uh, it's a heavy bow cavalry. Um, oh, it is heavy. Yes, so I will definitely evade that. One hit. Uh, yeah, one hit. And away. Well, poo. We sniffed it out. We're sniffing Sassanids. All right, perhaps that was a poor choice. This is rough with all these hills. Forward. We'll do those. It's going to go one, two, three. Uh, 
you're going to move forward to there. And he's going to come around to here. Alright. Let's start here. And we're going to have three plus leader. Get some. Advance, move one, go after this light bow now. They will evade, okay. Uh, so three once again, but only green circles. Nothing. Let's do heavy on heavy now. I'm going to spend a battlefield token and make it five dice plus leader. That was effective. Very. Man. Okay. Uh, here's the one die leader check. He's fine. Hmm. Advance, move one, battle again. Four dice, green circles only. Nothing. Alright, uh, over here on the hill. Tack down the hill. Okay. All right. I'll stand. All right. Here's two dice. Uh, okay. Nothing. Yeah. Two going uphill, right? Yep. Nothing. Right. And go with this one. What would they like to do? Nothing. That's right. I'll stand. Yeah. Two dice again. And just one hit. And one for you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're going to attack first here. And that's going to be four dice plus leader bonus. Uh, three hits. Got some hot dice tonight. All right, four dice back. As well. So two hits. Yep. One, two. Uh, and you get a leader check. Okay. Uh, and now the bowman will lose a volley. Let's see if we can get a square. Nope. All right, that is everything. On the right, those two. All right, Belisar is going to try and finish them off with four dice. Mm -hmm. Easily. And he does. Yes, he does. Oh! Ooh! Just like that. Just like that. He'll advance. And go after that light bow. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely evade that. Four dice. Nothing. Order my light troops. Get five of them. One... Two, three, four, and five. Take a, let's see. We'll start with this one here. 
pot shot on the heavies. Two dice. Oh, send them away. This so one will reach out and try to tickle that heavy with two dice. Getting a kill. Um, light bow. Aim at Belisarius. Two dice. Nothing. And this one also. It's a hit. And leader check. He's okay. And then finally, this one will go against this light bow. We'll stand. Okay. Two dice. <clears throat> Two, three, four. And play leaders. There it is. We have two of them, so he will join that light bow cavalry. It cannot be ordered. Belisarius will go after that light bow cavalry and attack. What would you like to do? Um, we will evade. Okay, five dice, some green circles. Not a one. Do three on the left. That one come there. Belisarius first. Two dice. Nothing. And then one from this light bow that moved. Nothing. All these wasted leader hits. Mm -hmm. And... Hmm. Might as well go for the reach. Go to these heavies down here. Two dice. Man! Crazy. Oh well. Forward. Low six units. All right. Start down here first. Two bow shots. There's a hit. Two more bow shots. Oh, Ooh. man. Lucky. Lucky, luck, 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 luck. <laughs> and the chicken impression is in aid of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tacking uphill. Down to two dice. Against your auxilia. One hit. And I will give you two back down the hill. Which you can ignore. Now attacking from across the hilltop. One hit and a retreat. Mm. Cavalry can move. And bonus hex, and we'll battle again. Are you ambushing me? Nope. And finish them off. Man, just when I think I got this system down, <laughs> you just crawl back up. Grr! All right. Um, actually, no, we'll go after the auxilia. Okay. So, two dice going uphill. Hmm. <sighs> One, two, three, and four. Come on up. It's fine up here. 
Don't you want to come up on the hill? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? After that bow. Um, you will stand. Or you'll flee. All right, now going after that light bow cavalry. Yeah, we'll evade that. Okay, four dice. Well evaded. Well, man, 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 this game. It vexes me. All right, let's go with this. Foot on slot. Yes, yeah, three or fewer. One, two, and three in one section, so all in the center. I can go two X's. I will get one extra die in initial close combat, so go two, one, and Two. And that one will just stand and fight. Okay, so we have trapped you on the hill, for you have no evasion route. Ha ha. Uh, okay. So it's gonna be three dice. Not for strikey here. Okay. So two dice. Nothing. And three right back. There we go. One. Two. Three. Three. Okay. And Auxilia. Up the hill. What would you like to do? I'll stand. Okay. So initial is three dice. And you get two. Oof. So going downhill, I'm still at two dice because I'm horses. Mm. Two back. And then this one, what would they like to do? Now we'll evade. Okay. So three dice looking for triangles. No triangles. You know it would be awesome? Scout card. You're right. So I'm going to scout. Must have class of shields. That works. I'll activate this unit here. Belisarius. We'll go after those light bow on the hill. Okay. No, we'll go after the ones on the ground. All right. Let's evade. I cannot evade because I don't have two, so. Oh. Yeah, I have to have, I have, to have a full evasion route in order to evade, so. Oh. Okay. So, four dice. I think I will spend a token. <laughs> oh, God. Get three hits and two flags. That is a Two hits and three flags. Two hits and two flags. Yes. Yeah, so, bye bye. So, yes, luckily that negates the ability to. Take that final banner. So I will use my leader's prerogative to advance. Not that it matters. Yeah, well done. Man, pull that out of my butt. Get a card for this flank to save my life. Ugh, it was killing me, man. I had center, 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 left, left, left. And and then the specialty cards. And I just couldn't, I mean, I was doing so well over here, and then it completely dried up. And I was just, I was weeping. I was weeping mightily. Good game. I thought I was on the ropes. On the ropes. Well, that's the way that we script this each and every week. I get out to a very nice lead, and I think, well, hell, I'm going to get five banners here. And then here comes Pete, right there in the rearview mirror, so... Good on you, man. Stick to it. All right, we're going to take our break. 
I'm going to go walk this sting off. We'll be right back. We are back, and Peter, I have a, a philosophical question for you. What did we forget? Did we do forget some Parthenon shots? Oh, Parthenon shots? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, twice I evaded up here with this guy, and what did I forget? So, I'm going to put a sticky note. I'm going to write a note right now. Parthian, big letters, P-A-R-T-H-I-A-N. Parthian, exclamation, two exclamation. I'm putting it right there. Parthian shot. Let's see if it works. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. We're back. We have swap sides. You get to draw your cards first. Let's play a one. I have my five. All right. Are you ready, player one? I am ready, player two. Okay. Well, then off you go, and good luck once again. Although I'm starting to think you don't need it. We all need a little bit of luck. True. Move forward. Those six units. Lovely. I will just move there. Lock that up. The auxiliary will move one there. Cabrio one, two. Like a pot shot at your light bow. Yeah. And I miss. All right. Shot on your heavies. And another shot on your heavies. Nothing. Belisarius will review and ride out, bringing his heavies forward. What are my heavies? Okay. Both shot at your longbows. Ooh, got a hit. Boo. And then... Riding down your heavies. Four dice. Boo. If only they were mediums. If only... Take a hit. All right, so you're going to get to ignore one from my foot unit. Uh, so here is four dice back. So just one. Uh, I'm going to burn a battlefield token and make it five dice. So five back plus leader. And that's a one Ooh. hit. And uh, some galloping. Some galloping. So I'll ignore one of those, so I'll have to retreat four hexes. Now, now, as pointed out to us, you can spend a token to wave off one of those flags. It's one of your battlefield options there to for bravery. Yeah, that seems, good. That seems smart. Oh, and a leader, leader check. He's fine. I shall order my light troops. Oh no! So I have plenty. Uh, we'll do these five. We're gonna move back to here. Everybody else is going to stand and fire. Fire! Pork and R. <laughs> he got himself into this. He did. There's two dice at him. Ouch. One hit. Okay, here's a leader check. He's fine. Next one in line. Two dice. Hit again. 
check again. It's fine. The light bow who have a score to settle. Uh, two dice. Nothing. And then these other ones. Nothing. Okay. Still pretty effective. Mm -hmm. Leaders. Your new favorite card. Apparently. Five dice against that auxilia. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Two retreats. Okay, so we'll take the two hits. One, two. Um, I can ignore one of the flags because I'm supported. Mm -hmm. I will spend a token for bravery to ignore the other one. And we will battle right back with... Uh, Two dice plus leader bonus. And get nothing. I'll take the flag. Okay. All right. Going against your light bow cavalry. Uh, they will what would it like to do? They will evade with a All Parthian right. shot in a moment, to remind myself. Five dice. Okay. Oof. All right. so, leader hit. Nope. Actually, don't get that leader hit. Yep. So here, and here is my two dice Parthian shot over my shoulder. Nothing. Well, he was up all those red squares. Mm -hmm. Could have used them over here, though. Five dice. Oof. Ooh. Man. Uh. Super heavy cavalry. We'll go after the super heavy cavalry. Whoa, uh, we, will, we will ambush, yes. <laughs> All right. So the super heavy cavalry, or the cataphract, let's see. Uh, it's two additional. Yeah, so it's still six dice. So they are. And you must attack the one that is ambushing you. So that's why I'm going to do this one. So super heavy cataphract, six dice. We get two. There's the leader check. He's fine. Right. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Well, just for that. I'm going to spend a battle bonus and roll six dice myself. Okay. Boo. So I get to Three ignore hits. the sword. And I take the Not two. Trip. Yeah, two hits. One, two, and leader check. Move. Where are those before? Oh, I forgot my my own. Okay. Those ambush cards. Mm, it's all I have, literally. Terrible. Terrible. Three in the center. These three up on the hill. One, two, three, one. All right. So we're going to do three dice plus leader on your unnamed leader. Scab. Leader check. Yeah, there he is. All right, um, they'll advance, move one, battle them. What would they like to do? They'll stand. Okay, there's two up the hill. Getting hit. Nothing. And these guys moved, but they will fire a volley up the hill. One die. Getting a retreat. And then the light bow cavalry over here, they also moved. But 
do a fire volley at your heavy. Hey! Blind squirrel! Nut acquired! Well, here's a leader check. That would have been awesome. For you. <laughs> Forward. Those units. Start with the longbows. Taking a shot at your super heavy cataphract cavalry. Ooh. Almost got that leader hit. We'll go after the heavies. And force a retreat. Hmm. Okay. On the hill, the auxilia will attack. Uh, what would your light cavalry like to do? We'll stand. Okay. Nothing. There's two back. Nothing. Light bow cavalry attacking. Continue. What would you like to do? Continue to stand. Retreat. Over here. See if you can't finish off that auxilia. Four dice. Oh, yeah. How you feeling? Feeling like Advancing. Lucky? Yep, I've been advancing. And I'm going to go plus one back to where I was. Okay. And attack again. All right. Go four dice. Man. Three hits. One, two, three. And... <laughs> Two back with leader. There we go. One hit. Ooh. Leader check. Don't. Oh. Wrong colors. Wrong order. Yep. Go after those longbows. What yeah. would they like to do? They will evade. Four dice. One green circle. Two on the left. Those two. All right. We'll attack and I will expend. I will not expend. Uh, so it'll just be four dice plus leader. There Got it. Go. Got it. Leader check. Nope, he's fine. We'll advance. Hmm. Move one. Attack again. This time I will expend that token. So we'll do battle bonus. We'll have five dice plus leader. Two hits. Uh, check. Oh, too bad. Okay. Alley and back. Go ahead. Alley and back with four dice. Mm. Three. And leader checks out. Okay. Okay. And then finally, grabbing their spears of destiny, throwing one spear at your heavy bow. Nope. Leadership any section. I will do my leadership thing. I will attempt rally. 
your five dice. Ooh. You don't have any blues. Let's see if this will do it. Attacking your unnamed leader with four dice. Got him. Handily. And leader check. Nope. Oh, what was that? Double clutch. That's all right. The first one was a banner. Okay. And he'll go. Advance. And go plus one. I'll go after that auxilia. All right. Two. Command left. Just these two. So we'll start with this one. Two dice. Nothing. And then one die. Nothing. Three on the right. Gadar will fire shot at your unnamed leader. Ooh, got a hit. And there we go. Hmm. Well, leadership any section. It will be this leader. Oops. This one here. Go one, two, fire a shot at your heavy with one die. Scoring a retreat you can ignore, and I will get a token, and that is all. I like that card. I'll play that card too. Except I will do those two along with my leader. One, two, three. One, one, two. My leader's attacking your leader first with four dice. Okay. What would they like to do? I have to evade that. Your leader lives. Going after your light bow, what would they like to do? They'll stand. Okay, three dice. Two hits and a retreat. Get our unit will fire a bow at that light bow unit. Not fire a bow, fire an arrow. They will. Yes. They will loose an arrow. Yes. Okay. And since I counterattacked you, I gain a token back too. I will do. Leadership any section. That. One, two, three, four. I will be issuing a cavalry charge. Leadership or mounted charge. These guys will go two to there. All right. So first we'll do the firing from here. It's one die. Nothing. Uh, next.
next we will do the light bow cavalry charging at you. There's a flag. It is a flag. I will spend my token on bravery to ignore it. Okay. Plus leader. One hit. One hit. All right. And finally, we'll continue on the same target. Go. There's your flag. There it is. Take the hit. And one, two, three. To push your luck? Mm, yeah, I might as well. I'm, I'm I'm here. Let's see if you're going to ambush. Nope. Okay. Uh, so now it's just down to two dice. No hits. Four dice back. Outflank. Those units. Oh, shot at Belisarius. Nothing. Another shot. Nothing. Unless you want to take that retreat. No, that's all right. Okay. You're attacking your light bow cavalry with three dice. All right, we'll first strike it. I chose Gator first. Yeah, that's why he did. All right, here's two dice. Nothing. Oh, yeah. The Coupe de Gracie. There you go. And you have got my number in this particular game, sir. Two games down. Congratulations. Thank you. You're very good well game. Done. Oh yes, yes, yeah, good game. Uh, it's stressful because in both games I had a powerhouse series of units. Here it was Belisarius. What did I not have in this game? Nothing on that Cards flank. To move. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and you know managing. This was the first game where I really felt that pain of managing the inspired action tokens because I could earn them slowly, but I couldn't really use them. So, because I, I, I blew them. I, I think I used them effectively at that time. I got a wipeout on one of them, so that was well used. But our final score after two games for the Battle of Milbasa is uh, Peter took the first one 6-4, took the second one 6-4. So 12-8 to eight is our final. That means you are now only one away from balancing the scales. So all of that good fortune from the first game frittered away. It's gone. It's just gone. This is where the wheels have fallen off the horses, or something like that. What do we think of this one? This one's tough. It is tough. This, this one is tough. Those hills in the middle make it very tough. It does feel like there are favored flanks for the Sassanids, their right flank, and for the Byzantines, their right flank. In both cases, you ran out of cards on both sides at the wrong time and couldn't get those power units into position. Well, I was lucky that I had cards for my right flank at the end here to keep them moving to try and finish those guys off. But yeah, I think my, tough one. my mistake on the uh, uh, among many, if we're opening up the catalog of mistakes here for the left side on when I was playing the Byzantines here in the second game when I had that mass missile fire at Gadar, and that was effective, I had, I think, I either drew or very closely thereafter, I got another command left. And uh, and I really should have pressed it, but I didn't. I was, I was doing something here at the middle, or I, I don't know exactly what I was doing. Um, and I, I really should have capitalized on that because you regrouped. You fell back. The leader fell back and regrouped that whole side. And then you just pressed it and you completely wiped out that side because I had the the already weakened auxilia here. And then on that, that second attack, the second wave attack, you did it. And then you got in there and you, you wiped out another unit. And then just everything scattered on that flank. It just fell apart. 
So this one, yeah, is I, I like the hill. I mean, the, I think the hill is great because in both games, each of us could decide, all right, who's going to take the hill and who's going to cause the other person that heartburn of, especially with the mounted stuff, only getting two dice across the board. That's why I moved all those auxilia up there quickly, and, and I had a foot onslaught in the first game, and I really wanted to try to use it to just rain down from the hills. So I think it's a great... I love the set piece of it, just having it right there, because each side has to decide, all right, am I going to let him take the hill? Am I going to press it? Am I not? The flanks, we're both chasing the flanks here, and if you don't have flank cards... I mean, I'm sitting right now with four center cards. What can I do in the center? Not much. Ouch. Indeed, ouch. That is the word of the evening. Ouch. Parthian shot was our phrase. Ouch is the word. But with that, we will move our horses forward, and we will continue. Loathe Belisarius' uh, sad tidings. We're going to have the big battle of Dara coming up here in a couple of years. That'll be our next scenario. Peter will be doing the fine. I'm sure there's somebody wrote something down on that one. I guarantee it. Let's hope. Uh, I hope so. But uh, we will leave it here, folks. Thank you so much once again from me and Peter to you. We uh, really appreciate everybody's support. Uh, we got some very generous contributions this week. So those of you who are out there watching it, who are just engaging with us from the comments section to just clicking the like and subscribe, as I'm showing you here as your weekly reminder, it is very much appreciated. So thank you for supporting the channel. We're getting a little growth spurt here, which is wonderful. And if you'd like to just share the link if you see this i post it on social media but if you've got some other avenues out there and you want to share it with your friends feel free i would really appreciate it just to get the word out until next week's loss i mean game <laughs> peter have a great one man good night hey do you still have any of those cookies left i have brownies i baked brownies last night oh victory brownies no wonder that's your inspiration every week i knew it all right have a good one good night